Hello, what's up, YouTube? Bruni Sweat and Atria. In this tutorial, I'll show you the best way and the best time to remove blemishes in Photoshop and how to remove and identify those blemishes from your images within Photoshop. And if at all, as you're watching and you find this video really helpful, don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to more people out there who are interested in learning about the same topic right now. So, usually, the very first thing you have to take into consideration. Blemishes are usually part of skin textures and the reason as to why I'm saying all this is because We want to use frequency separation and that is what I use to remove blemishes So I first of all play my frequency separation action because usually when remo removing blemishes Sometimes you tend to tamper around with colors and you may distort those colors and you have patches around your image Let me show you what I'm trying to mean by this so I'm just going to come and I just get my clone stamp tool and I zoom into this image. So usually when you have, I'm just going to duplicate the background layer. So usually when you start removing these blemishes from your images, you can see that kind of discoloration that results from uh, this very process. You can see sometimes it works good and sometimes because Photoshop is automatically sampling and painting skin on the area that had the blemish, you can see it creates that kind of unevenness within the area. Sometimes it works so it is basically more of a hit and miss process. Just look at where the blemishes where you can see we have this kind of rough patch that is surrounding the image. That is the disadvantage of removing blemishes from your images without separating the colors and the textures. So I'm just going to delete this and I show you what I tend to do when it comes to blemish removal from images using photoshop so usually i come and i play my <coughs> frequency separation action so i'm just going to play a 16-bit frequency separation because this is a 16-bit image so if i told you have an 8-bit image you have to play your 8-bit frequency separation so just come and I'm, go I'm just going to come and play my frequency separation 16-bit and i'm going to play that action so usually uh when you're using frequency separation we at this point determine the amount of details that we want to remain within the image so i'm just going to take this up until the point when i'm just starting to lose out on these prominent blemishes from the image so just stop at that point when i'm just starting to lose them out so that seven is fine just going to hit okay and the action is going to continue playing so i'm just going to delete the black and white layer so right now we have the image separated and we have the colors and the textures in the high frequency layer right here so Blemishes are usually part of the textures. So in order to remove blemishes, we have tools that we have to use to remove blemishes. So one of those tools is our spot healing brush tool. So in order to use the spot healing brush tool, usually I leave it the way it is by default and I leave the hardness at 100. So I'm just going to be using this at its default and I'm going to zoom in the image. So usually with the high frequency layer selected, make sure sample all layers did not check because when you sample all layers and you try to remove the blemish, you can see it paints that color that is part of the color layer. So we don't want that to happen. Make sure sample all layers is not checked. And you can reduce on the size of your spotting brush tool and simply click just like that. And when you feel like it is causing a little bit of discoloration, you can come to the hardness and you soften the edges of your spot healing brush tool so i'm just going to leave it at around five and i'm just going to go on painting but when you reduce on the intensity or the hardness it is not going to be effective enough so usually leave the hardness at 100 and if at all it doesn't work best for you let me show you another tool that you can use that is close or related to the spot healing brush tool so just come right here and you select your healing brush tool so with this you can come and sample the current layer right here because the textures are on this current layer which is the high frequency layer so with the spot healing brush tool and the blend mode at normal you have to sample and paint over the blemish in order to get rid of it or eliminate it so let me just zoom in slightly right here just look at these blemishes right here so in order to eliminate a particular blemish hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so when you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard or a l to the, or the button with a LT initials on the keyboard hold it down and simply left click close the blemish show so you hold on alternate and you left click 
close to the blemish. So you left click on the area that is having clean skin next to the blemish and you simply click on the blemish to get rid of it. So basically that is how to eliminate blemishes using our spot healing brush tool. So this is better than the spot or whatever it is called, the spot healing brush tool. So the healing brush tool is better because you manually copy and paste skin that you want to replace the blemish with. So this is more of a very nice and convenient tool when it comes to removing blemishes from the images. So the next tool that you can use is basically our patch tool. And how this works, you just select over the blemish and you drag that area to a clean area. So we left click and you draw over the blemish and you drag it to an area that is cleaner and the blemish is going to be replaced but make sure that the patch is normal and source and this destination are the source is highlighted right here so just draw over the blemish and you drag it to a clean area and it's going to be replaced so that, that is how the patch tool works but my favorite tool is the clone stamp tool so how this basically works you come and select the clone stamp tool and the hardness I tend to use is between 20 and 30, so I prefer 20. The mode is normal, opacity and the flat 100%. Make sure align is selected and make sure the sample is currently because we only want to work with the information that is the textures in the current layer that has been selected, which is the high frequency layer. And in order to remove the blemishes, simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard close to the blemish. So you hold down the alternate, so we want to remove this blemish right here. So you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on that clean area, alternate, left click on that clean area and release the alternate button and simply left click over the blemish to get rid of it. So you can see this one works better because with this aligned option checked, it is going to replace all the blemishes with nice and beautiful texture. So alternate and simply hold on the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area next to the blemish release the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click over the blemish to get rid of it you can see how nice and perfect this looks so in order to identify those blemishes quite well or better you can select the high frequency and just come the adjustments and you simply create a black and white adjustment layer come to the blacks and simply darken the darks just like that and you can now identify the blemishes Come back and select the high frequency and simply hold on the alternate and you sample and click over the blemish to get rid of it. So just do that and when you're done doing all this, you can now come and you turn off the black and white layer and you are going to be having a very nice and clean or cleanly retouched image. So you can see for a bigger blemish, you can just increase on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So you always have to make sure the size of your clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the blemish so hold down the alternate and left click and release the alternate and simply click over the blemish to get rid of it from your image so that is how this tool basically works so basically the right time to remove blemishes is usually after retouching so usually i use the mesa brush tool and i blend every transition within the skin tone and most of the blemishes are going to be flattened in the process so you're going to be having less work to do when it comes to removing or cleaning or removing the blemishes from your images so the best time to remove blemishes is by simply retouching first and you use maybe whichever tool that you want i prefer using a mr brush tool using frequent separation to flatten most of the blemishes and i'll have less work to do at the end of the retouching process when it comes to removing blemishes from this very image so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you know subscribe this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more amazing tools and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating